Hi, I'm Anisha Witt. I'm the CEO and founder of Coupons and Classifieds Magazine here in Toledo, Ohio. This is a training video, so if you're watching this video, that means that you're interested in um, working for us, doing some freelance sales, or maybe you've already started working for us and I just sent you the packet. So, the packet, I'm going to address this video to people who have the packet right now and are playing this video from inside the packet. And I'm also going to address this video for the YouTubers who might want to be making some extra money. It's all up to you how much you make. The commission here, um, it's good commission. The cheapest spot that I have for advertising is $100. So you would get $25 off that and that's all from just making a phone call sitting at home. The biggest sale I've ever done is probably... A little over a thousand, like a thousand and a half dollars, fifteen hundred. So your commission on something like that, you would still get twenty five percent from doing the phone call. So I think that's like three fifty. So the first thing when you open the packet, the first thing you probably will notice is the most colorful thing, which will be a copy of the magazine. I don't know what month it'll be from. It might be the most current magazine. It might be an old one. But you'll get a copy of the magazine just so you know what it looks like. You know what it is that, that one is kind of ripped up. You'll know what it is that you're trying to sell as far as advertising space. Now, I use the word, I use the word sell loosely because you really are not selling anything. What you're doing, your job as a features consultant is to know the prices and stuff like that. Like, you're supposed to know, like, this full page. Your job is to know these things, and all that information is going to be there for you, too, so in case people ask you questions. But the really the main thing that you do is schedule appointments. For me and my team of professionals here, we will go in after you schedule the appointment, and that's where the sales process starts. So really, all you're doing is setting up an appointment. You don't need any sales skills. All you need is people skills. You need to be professional. And... Do you have to know how to use a phone? Okay. So the first thing I'm going to start with is the most complicated thing of all, which is the contract. Everybody who works for Coupons and Classifieds is going to have to sell, uh, fill out a contract. Not fill it out, but I just need your initial on the second page, initial the first page, initial the second page. So I'll go over it a little bit right now of what the contract is. The first part is the contractual relationship, and it's just telling you that you as a salesperson are under contract to provide freelance advertising sales services. So the reason I call it freelance advertising is because um, you're not considered an employee. This is not an employee-employer relationship. This is an independent contractor. Uh, you're using your own phone. You're solely responsible for providing your own functioning equipment, including phone, computer, and workspace as is necessary for the completion of any contract at work. What's the contract at work? To get me appointments here in Toledo. Okay, the next part is duties and responsibilities of the salesperson and the publisher. You're the salesperson, I'm the publisher. The salesperson is primarily responsible for contacting, advising, and negotiating the sale of advertising space within the publications and products of basically you're you're responsible for contacting if you go any further beyond that which we'll get into that later your commission goes up to 50 percent. so if you're able to land a full sale and the person is like yeah i want to sign the contract and you tell them who to call tell them to get in contact with me and when i walk in the door if that sale is already made and they already know what they want what size they want you did an excellent job you'll get 50 percent commission but right now we're just going to stay right here on the basics you call and contact them uh give me that appointment i'll go in i'll make the sale i'll give them all the information they need um, confidentiality is the next part of the contract that's right down here at all times contractors of the publisher are to respect all terms inherent in the privacy policies as published on company websites the publisher also prohibits that's me I prohibit the dissemination of confidential and private information basically what this is this is guarding from is say you start working for another company um, you might start working for Jet Magazine or something, and you're doing advertising. They love you. They like you. You're good at sales. You cannot take information that you learn from my company. You cannot take that to Jet Magazine. Oh, I know. You can't go say, oh, I know the marketing director at Buckeye Insurance because 
and her name is Deborah such and such because I learned this at Pivotal Advertising at Coupons and Classifieds. No, you cannot do that. So it's just saying that um, you don't let anybody know private, our inform, private and confidential information during the regular course of conducting business to any third party. So that means you don't discuss also with anybody else that you're trying to schedule an appointment for or make a sale to. They don't get to know how much some the next person spent. That's confidential information. Or how many months they got. It's obvious how much they spent by the size of the ad that they get. But you can't tell, oh, they got a six-month contract. They did this. They did that. The marketing director is this person. No. Terms of payment and compensation. Payment is subject to the agreed-upon commission rates in which all costs of business will be considered to be included. Otherwise unless otherwise specified in writing. So that means that the payment and compensation is exactly what this contract lays out unless it's expressed otherwise in writing. So, I mean, I'm not going to tell you anything different than what exactly it is anyway. So that's just covering you for that if I was to say that you're only getting a different amount than what's listed. No, this is the contract. That's why we got the signature. Everything is cut and dry and um, let's see payment this is also stating that the payment of commission should be made within 30 days of the publisher receiving payment in full from the customer so that means that when I get paid at when I get paid you get paid and I have 30 days to get it to you however it's not gonna take that long because when that money comes into my company's account you're gonna get your check for that commission And I might change that later to where it all comes in one lump sum. But really, hey, I want it. If I were you guys, I would want it right then and there. If I made a sale, I want my 25%. You can send 10 checks in a week, and that's fine with me. But I probably, I mean, you guys can decide if which way you want it when we actually speak. But this is just a training video to run this down to you so I don't have to do it over and over and over and over and over again on the phone because I am hiring 50 people. Okay, the next section says the rate of commission. And that's just telling you the rate of commission that compensation for the provided service of facilitating advertising sales with the customer uh, will be as follows. A commission rate in this agreement is set at 50% if you make a full sale. A rate of 25% commission is coming from efforts to initiate and develop sales. That's your job. Initiate the sales process. Because I don't have time to do the phone call part of this thing. so A rate of half commission for successfully landing an appointment. And, okay, that's what I need to make clear too. You don't get paid just for the phone call. You get paid for landing that appointment. Okay, so basically this is how it will go. Hi, I'm calling from Coupons and Classifieds Magazine. We have some opening spaces for advertising. I was just seeing... If you would like to get some more information on getting, I have a script, I can't remember it exactly, but basically you're asking them what they like to get some more information. We print 10000 every month, your ad will be seen by a lot of people. They'll let you know, they might ask a couple questions or something, but basically what you're going to do is see if they're interested in getting more information. And if they do want to get more information, you can have a salesperson come out and meet them. That salesperson would be myself or one of my very small um, team members here and I like to keep the actual sales part of it small like with just certain people like because I'm well studied in marketing so the people on my team are people who are going to go in and land that sale we don't have any beginners any amateurs you will move up to that point of being able to make a full sale eventually but everybody starts out here on the phones Termination of agreement is next, and that's just saying that this agreement between you and I can be terminated at any time by either party. So whenever you feel like you don't want to do this anymore, it's fine. You don't have to. Anytime that I feel like that you've done something to violate, which it also says that in the contract. Please read the contract, y'all. Um, that you're supposed to be respectful. Don't be rude. Basically, that it, that's it. I need you guys to be professional on these phone calls. Uh... 
The publisher, which is myself, will make a payment of any outstanding commissions within 30 days for any advertisement sold, for which payment has been made in full by the customer at time of termination. Compensation for any advertisement sold by the salesperson will have with outstanding payments at the time of termination. Therefore, if you do something to get yourself terminated or if you decide that you want to call and cuss me out and tell me, you know what, I'm mad at you, I don't even like you no more, I'm not working for your company no more, okay, that constitutes termination. You terminated it. And any commission, any company that hasn't paid for a call that you made, you don't get commission off that if you're terminated during before that payment. So, but if it's already paid, then this contract is saying that I'm, I have to give you that money because it's already there with the company. But if you're no longer with the company and somebody didn't pay, that means that that payment is coming through after your term. So, you're not relevant anymore. Okay. The next paper, so that's the boring part. I hope y'all didn't fast forward through that. Like, read your contract, sign it. No biggie. This paper is the phone sales script. And it basically speaks for itself. I want you to take this paper out, please, and have a look at it. And I'm going to go over it. You're going to write your name on that first line. Write your name on that first line. So... Mine is Annie. So I would say, hi, my name is Annie. I'm calling from Coupons and Classifieds Magazine. Is the person in charge of advertising available? And they'll tell you, well, that's me. Or they might tell you, yeah, he it. Yeah, he is. You want to get that person's name. These papers go hand in hand. So also, I need you to pull out two, pap two pieces of paper. Actually, y'all got to excuse me. This is my first time doing, like, a sit-down training for a whole class. Okay. Um, the weekly sales report that's this paper so you always want to have this paper out every time you go to make a phone call have your phone be in a quiet area pull this out you're going to put this is already they got examples in here for you so I'm going to pretend I just called Bob's Burgers so is the person in charge of advertising available they say yeah he is no he's not so then you're going to say well what's his name that's where you write Glenn Woods. Everybody see that? Glenn Woods. They will tell you, like, oh, it's Bobby, it's John, whoever. You're going to write their name right there. Try to get an email address. And then because you didn't speak to the person who's in charge of advertising, you are going to write what was said. If they said call back later or that he wasn't there, you're going to write that right over here in the appointment spot. So that's why it's plenty of room for you. So, okay, I just called Bob's Burgers. This is for me at the end of every week. I need one of these from you. This is going to show me you called Bob's Burgers on Sylvania or, no, on Jenner. Glenn is in charge of advertising. Over here, he said call back later. So, hopefully you call back and then you leave some space to write what happens that next time so let's say you call back you get in touch with Glenn this time let's go back to the script okay every time somebody new gets on the phone reintroduce yourself so now that they got Glenn on the phone you're gonna reintroduce yourself again hi it's Annie I'm calling my name's Annie I'm calling from coupons and classifieds magazine always say the name of the magazine so that's why it's written here when you reintroduce you give them a full who you are you can just or if you feel more comfortable saying I'm a consultant at coupons and classifieds magazine that's fine too so we have some advertising spots available for October there's 10,000 copies for every issue so your ad will be seen by a lot of people in the city of Toledo there's a space right there so you can stop if they and give people a chance to talk like if people want to talk let them run their mouth but just stop right there they might have any questions or something like that they might have some questions so you just want to let them know, um, I need somebody to pretend with. I'm going to have to do like a role play video next. They might say, well, I don't know if I've seen that magazine before or oh, I've heard of it before. That's enough. You know, they don't have to say anymore. You go ahead with the next line. Well, if you're interested in getting some more information on getting in the magazine, possibly, I can schedule for one of our sales reps to come out and meet with you. It'll take 10 minutes at the most. 
always mention how long it's going to take because you don't want anybody to feel like you're about to take up a bunch of their time. It's also convenient for them because